Hero Baby to film episode two of my Baby on the Way series and today we're going to be looking at all the best prams and travel systems and I'm super excited to get more clarity on this issue because I still don't have a breeze what pram or travel system I want to go with so I'm meeting with Angelina inside and we're going to go through the top prams and travel systems. <laughs> I know we kind of touched on them last week, but yeah, with the <laughs> I've no clarity. Yeah. I still, I'm still just as lost as I was last week. So okay. I'm hoping to kind of get a better idea and just kind of focus on the brands and travel yeah. systems this week. Yeah, we'll go through a few um, different brands and a few different styles, and then we'll see. Hopefully, then by the end of today, you might have a better. Idea. I do. Please, what you need? Yeah. Um. So we'll do a quick walk around. We'll do each yeah. brand. We'll yeah. start over with the saddle. Okay. Um, so this is the Xato range, some of the range over here. This is the Continental, which comes in fabulous bright colours, if that's your thing. Um, we then have the Wow 2, which would be a smaller, probably most popular one, compact one. And then the XL, which is the double version. So these are all the fabrics that you can choose from? Yeah. Love that one's in so many different fabrics. Oh my god. Which would be the most popular? Well this will be brand new this fabric this is quite popular as well so they recently only brought out loads of different new colors the fox one is probably the most yeah, recognized I do fabric actually recognize from, yeah they that have one. that a long time now so that's the most recognized one from because that but um they're and very they pretty lovely, um so because i know people not a lot of people like the bright colors but they have come out with a few other ones that are more subtle colors but um like that's really light really easy to use really nice folds compact folds so remind me again about the the insides of the casado and why they're interesting so they've done a lot of research on brain development of the baby so what engages the baby and gets the mind thinking so that was their logic behind it to get the brain thinking i i don't know the whole lot but it's all about brain development that's very cute. And just to get the baby engaged and then the brain is working. I, just I like the rose gold detailing as well. Yeah, that's really cute, isn't it? I love that colour. I have three boys at home. And when that came out, I think that would be something I would push. I know some people like Casal. I like Casal personally. I just like the patterns and the colours. But um, it's really easy to manage. Yeah, it's really nice and yeah. smooth to kind of like. I like that this carry pot like just pops off like that. So oh, it's really. Yeah. And then the seat then obviously. So that can just pop on. Yeah, all the travel systems there are quite easy to use. Everything just pops on and off and stuff like that. So that goes in there. Do you have it in here? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my god, that's so cute. And then you can have it facing you, facing outwards, four ways. Okay, that's really cool. So the whole travel system then comes with the car seat, and that's the car well. seat as well. Yeah, really nice fold as well. I'll show you the fold really quick. It's a nice compact fold as well. Okay. Let's see, do I remember how to fold all these movies? There you go. So that is quite, it's quite compact and flat. I actually blue. love the rose gold, but I love the blue on the frame as well. Yeah. That's very cute. And I see a lot of brands are doing that, they're kind of matching in the frame with the fabrics. Yeah. Where it used to always just be a black frame or, but a lot of them brands are doing that, they're kind of matching the frame. So okay, that Casado is an option. I like that they're colourful, but I also like love that it's like, you know, developmental for the baby and for like their brain development, yeah. all the colours and the, the patterns and stuff like that inside the hoods. Yeah. That smart is very thinking. interesting. Yeah. Very smart thinking from Casado, isn't it? Oh, I was wondering if that go down because the mesh at the back will see through. Yeah. But you can actually pull that down. Okay, that's good. Yeah, okay, great. So that's one option. Yeah, okay. And then... So do you need a double version? Have you thought that ahead of her? Well, it's good to know that some prams can actually yeah. double up because that's a, that can obviously be a single as well as a double up, can yeah. it? Okay, so yeah. most people, yeah, you'll use it as a single and then it's just the option in your head knowing that it will double up if you need it to double up. So this is what all the prams would look like if they doubled up then? Yeah, this is the XL, doubled up. So then obviously you can take this off and that can move up here and just have it as a single. 
And then the car seat can clip into all the prongs as well. Then, yeah. They? And then you could have a seat you and a car seat for so many different configurations. And you see these little like Casado toy Oh, they things. all come with a little toy, yeah. They all come with a little toy. Yeah, it's cute, isn't it? Do you get to pick your toy or they just come as standard with, yeah, with whatever, whatever brand you choose? pattern that you use, yeah. Okay. And then so Casado do so many different bundles. So like that you could get a bundle with your carry cot, your seat unit and your car seat. Okay. And um, there's then bundles with the accessories as well. So if you like that, your change your bag, your foot muffs. So what do people do like if like if they didn't know what sex they were having, would they go with the Casado if they didn't you know what I mean? Because yeah. you kinda have to like say if you chose this one and then it's it a boy. Be, yeah. Like what, no, what happened? I, I don't think they really go for these colours unless they know the they get a neutral unless they know the sex. Okay. But there no, is neutral there is, available. Like this blue, I would use that for a girl as well. Yeah. That blue one would definitely work. It's more work. so the girl colours that you kind of... And so would that khaki one, that would definitely work as well for a yeah. boy or a girl. Yeah. But then obviously there's darker ones here that could do for both, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So they do have their kind of grey range where it's be very neutral. They have a lovely new one. It's not out on the floor, it's over in the other shop. The Nature Trail, which is a lovely new colour. Like that, it's the grey colour. Okay. These look really cool. So that's one option. Okay. Casado. Yeah. Okay. Um, we move into Bugaboo. Bugaboo. Okay. I think originally, like before I ever had a baby, I was like, oh, I want to have a Bugaboo, but just for the brand. Just like, no, oh, yeah. yeah. Anymore, you know. A lot of people like that. They just like the Bugaboo name. Yeah. And it's so popular. You see it on the street everywhere. So that was. So what that. would be the most popular boogies in the Bugaboo range then? The chameleon, probably. Can I take the chameleon now? So that's the rake at the side. Yeah. Oh, it's popping out. So that's the rake on the side on the comedian. Okay, let me push this one around and see what this is like. And then Bugu really is this, is this how high it goes? I feel like the facade was a bit higher. Is this yeah, this is how high it goes. Lower seat. Yeah. Okay. Lower carry top. The box then. would be a little bit higher, I think. Okay, let me have compare to the box. The oh, yeah, this is definitely a little bit higher, yeah. Okay, so this is the fox. Fox tree, yeah. And this then that's the chameleon. So what would be the difference between the chameleon and the fox then? So the frame is a little bit different. This would be kind of a smaller frame. They have the fox's bigger wheels, better suspension. So for off roads, the rockiness will kind of be less than that. This also changes around when I'm looking for the right here. So this can flip the other way as well. So if you need to push it through the sand or anything like that through the back wheels, that's another option. Um yeah. Other than that then it's kind of preference of how it looks as well. What do you think of them ones? I like I like them but I do like that I like the height of this but I think it's a little bit lighter, lighter frame. Let me have a look. Yeah, that's, like, that's a very light frame as well. I don't know if the frame is going to even be much lighter. Now that I have that one down and I have the two of them side by side, this one definitely feels like a lot bigger. Yeah. You know, Sword the fox. Yeah. Um, but the comedian feels nice and light and... And that would be quite popular. And I me. like that the handle switches if yeah. you wanted, like especially when the baby's in their seat. If, yeah. they, if they wanted to look out, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, at, at and you could just do that rather than having to change the seat unit around or you just flip the handle over. Oh, the inside feels so lovely as well. And they're big carry costs. If you look at the length of them, like they're quite big carry costs, lengthwise and stuff. And I know like with the Bugaboo, you can change like the colors, the foot muffs and stuff, but like, is that the same for the bassinet? Can you change the color of the bassinet or no? So you can change the hoods. Hood color, so you can okay. have different hood colors, which is what people would do. I don't think so. See, the this one here we have that color hood on the frame. So you'll either pick the gray or the black, or then you can have a blue and the little fox, and then you can change the hood for a bit of pop of color. And why would people get this model with this side piece on it? So, this is a donkey, this can be a double. Oh. so this is it in single mold, and then you can take that off. And the whole chassis widens, so you widen the chassis and then you can have two seat units. 
So that's it in single mold, but it goes to a double. Because I often out. see people with that and I'm thinking, why do they have like a basket on the side? Like, what so the, the old one that? probably was out with a buggy and then they just put it down and had yeah, it in single yeah. mold. Yeah, no, I don't think I want to go for a buggy like that. Mm. I think I need, I think I want to go for a single buggy. A single one. A, a, like a, like a, you, you know, as opposed yeah. to like a double side by side. Side by side. Yeah, a lot um, of people even they like if it is a double, like a tandem, front and back rather than side by side. But yeah, I like. And then there's the bee. I know you were talking about the bee before, weren't you? The bee, yeah. I like the way the bee is a very compact pram, but I like that it's like for newborns as well. Oh, and this, you can switch this, the handle on this one too, can't you? Okay. Um, no, the seat unit pops around. Oh, the seat unit pops yeah, around. Yeah, so you can have it facing this way or facing the other way. It's a bit, yeah, smaller, more compact. And this guy's down. So that just from Bert. The seat unit just from Bert. So are these things here for the bassinet then? Yeah. Yeah. This is very neat and compact, but actually the chameleon felt really nice to push around mm. as well. It is compact. Now the fold looks like it's compact, but it's Let's see, can I do it? Okay. Put me to the test. So it kind of falls into itself. So that would be the fold. So it just goes straight into the car like that? Yeah. So it is compact. Oh, I would say that when you take them off the frame, their frame is easy as compact. It's just handy folding it with the actual seat unit on. So mm. that's another option. Oh my god, it's so difficult to choose. So many, isn't there? Like, I don't know. I do like Bugabeel. It is, the colour of it's real staple colour. You know Bugabeel when you see Bugabeel. Yeah. And the white buttons like on all the Bugabeel. It's kind of black white buttons. It's why you associate with Bugabeel. I think I'd be gearing more towards maybe, um, you know, like a universal colour, I suppose, when it comes to yeah. the pram selection. Exactly. Because, um, yeah, if you don't know what you're having, you And then I don't know whether or not to get a pram like the B, where it's like a compact buggy to start with that's suitable for babies, mm -hmm. or I don't know whether or not to get like, you know, a pram like the Chameleon and then have a separate compact pram for when After the baby's a bit older. System, yeah. Um, because then I was looking at this one, the butterfly, which is their newest compact one, and this yeah. is even smaller again than the bee. Yeah. So I was so like, that's your stroller from so six months. From six months. Yeah. But you can get the foot muffs for this as well, can't you? You can, yeah. Like this is so neat and tidy. Like it is. That's like this would be handy one. if you were bringing the baby on holidays or something. Oh yeah, and has it on the phone? You know. It literally just falls down like that. Which is quite compact. There is, I think, a other ways, yeah. So yeah, yeah you know, now, on yeah. the shoulder. That is extremely handy. Yeah. I love that. So. Yeah, well, yeah, so maybe, maybe like, after travel yeah, system. so maybe like a travel system that's like really secure and comfortable for the baby, mm. and then the something like that for like yeah. really comfortable carry cot. Yeah, for and then suspension and, and yeah. I don't mean all terrain because like it's not like I live on the mountainside or anything. But, but you like, still want you don't know, so, yeah, yeah, exactly. In the, in yeah, the yeah, yeah, exactly. So yeah, okay, I think yeah, and then if we move on to something like that, yeah. Decisions. Decisions. Okay, well, this is just two brands that I've seen, so I need to I, I get familiar with them all and see everything. So, that dual, so the butterfly came after the year. This is kind of where they got the inspiration from. So, this is the here. Same sort of thing as the butterfly. Yeah. Nice compact. This yeah. does from six months also. I feel like that's really smooth to push around. Yeah, it's really light and smooth. Oh my god, that is so amazing. Like you could just do it with one finger. Literally. And same with the fold, the fold is literally one hand down. Up. Okay, I'm gonna try the fold. 
Oh my god. Would you be Absolutely. able? It's not a life. Okay, that was very, very cool. And the air does have the option then of the carry cap. So unlike the butterfly that doesn't do it from birth, you can get a carry cap, which will do you from birth up to six months. Okay. And then we go into the and this also falls then with the with the carry cap on, which does not look on, that falls with carry cap on. That literally going to your boot like that. Oh my god. My that god. is just very convenient. Yeah, practical, it's very practical. At least you wouldn't have to worry about your boot space if you had a problem like yeah. that. Because you know the way it's hard to get cars with like good boot space. Yes. And then with that, if you want to pick something like this, it would do from very to white up until four or five. There would be no yeah. getting yeah. the travel system and then getting yeah, yeah, yeah. the stroller afterwards because it's the whole lot. I like that, it's a lovely, comfy carry pop. Let's have a look. Obviously, it's a little bit narrower than maybe something on the Fox, but oh, I love the inside of that. Yeah, it's cozy. And the mesh I've always said if I was having another one, which I won't ever. <laughs> <laughs> I won't. Never say never, Angelina. <laughs> um, for practical wise, this would just. It's just yeah, ideal. It's super, super convenient. I like that if you don't have the space or anything like that. But also they do bigger prams if you don't want to like yeah. a compact buggy. Like how, how popular would you say the compact ones are nowadays? Are people oh, kind of huge? Sure. People are just wanting like compact this ones. This car is one of our most popular buggies that we sell. This air. Four newborns. Like, no. okay. So it's from six months, but also from newborns. But, yeah, but you feel like people are getting their bigger pram and something like this as well. Yeah, yeah. They do come back in later then and buy this as a stroller. Because I just couldn't imagine going abroad with a big, with a big brand. Yeah. I just couldn't. And that's a bit like it's your stroller at home and like yeah, foot muffs and stuff like that. But it does you for holidays. You don't need to take yeah, yeah, yeah. a holiday buggy afterwards because you know that's going to do it as well. Do you think these little compact buggies are going to be replacing the likes of McLaren? Do you remember like McLaren was the toddler brand? I was only speaking to because I was over with Jules last week and we were talking about that and they were asking about McLaren. I said I had McLarens on all my kids. Um, and they just kind of because there was nothing away. like this no, then. There was no compact. There was all like the umbrella fold kind of strollers, but these are just getting huge. So definitely, these are overtaken. So this would be like the Jules brand, but a bigger pram travel yeah. system. So that's the day plus, and that would just be a single. Okay. Version yeah, I feel like I want the baby to be in something nice and sturdy and comfortable Jules when they're born. are brilliant for suspension. They really have one of the best suspensions. Um, there was also then the Geo around here, which is our newest. Oh yeah? So this is our newest. We made this bit in single, and then that's there in double. Oh yeah! So you've got it like this, like that, and if you don't have another mat, it This is probably the neatest double I've ever seen. Yeah. Like it, it actually is the neatest double. I was actually put off doubles now until I seen this one. Yeah, it's really neat. Like it's not a big bulky double buggy. And then like that, it's lovely as a single as well. Thank you. Bye bye. Great suspension. I love the pack you play. Really good suspension. Really good wheels. Yeah, this is like sage green. This is what this is called, but it's because that's good for boys and girls as well. Yeah. Okay, I really like the Jules brand actually, to be fair. Mm -hmm. And it's getting huge. It's one of, like that's one of my favourites. It's really, really good. I like that really good, let me see. I'll take down this. Really good falls on it as well. So like that really compact fold. Yeah, yeah, I love that. For the boot. I do love that. And then like that, so you're seeing off the green. Well, like I said, that's... I'd always push people towards your mm -hmm. great suspension, great wheels. 
I like that they have their double variation on the the compact one. You probably seen eye candy rants. Yeah, I feel like loads of people on yes. Instagram have eye candy. Yes, it's kind of one of them Instagram boys. Little umbrellas smell. Do all brands come with umbrellas? Not all of them, but all of the eye candy bundles do. They're very cute. So again, there's kind of. Because I'm going to have a springtime baby. Oh, this okay. is what comes in the bundle. This is your bundle here. So that's all your bits. Okay. So, okay. Like, remember I was saying last time, so many people have went for bundles now. Yeah. Just because like that, they want all the little, little bits that they don't think about. That's really good value, to be fair. Yeah. Car we got seat unit bag, foot muff, parasol, cup holder, sunscreen, clamp and car seat adapters. Like foot Just under 1400. It must be 80 euro alone, like and as an extra. So there, it's huge. This is a great photo. I have to show you some of this. So like that, this just pops up. Now I hope I get this first time round. Testing me. Oh my god. So yeah. We That's mean, very again, handy. quite compact. Boogies have gone so because I know I like that when I have kissed the huge when you folded them, but they've gone so compact. Let me see what up. this one is like to push around. Okay. Because I haven't tried this one yet. It's just the break. Yeah. 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 Feels and a little bit heavier than um than the one than the chameleon and the jewel. It's actually yeah. There's also the option then you can get elevators. So the other way you were saying the carry cart was very long with chameleon. Yeah. You can have it down here. You can get elevators to bring it up higher. I don't know if we have one of the elevators. I do like oh, this baby. It, it does feel lovely and secure and sturdy mm -hmm. for the baby for a newborn especially. But, um, and then it's kind of a style saving piece, isn't it? Yeah. It is. has a little kind of glam touch to it. This is probably like my most exciting thing to get for the baby, the crown. Oh god, yeah. Because it's, it's the biggest thing. I don't care about the rest of it. No. <laughs> Just on my buggy and the wardrobe. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, I do like this. It's very stylish and sleek. And mm -hmm. So that's the Peach 7, and then it has your little built-in ride on board. So like that, if you had a toddler okay. and newborn, they can just stand up on that. That was a new feature on the Peach 7. This is the ride on board? Yes, yeah, so they stand on that. So, so obviously, obviously when the baby's in the seat. You put the elevators and you push the okay. car car forward the wheel. Okay, I love that. So that's the Peach 7. Mm -hmm. We have the Peach Core, which is new as well. That's brand new from Eye Candy, so they never had Peach Core before. This one comes, so this is big wheels, and you also get a set of small wheels, like city wheels. Right. So you remember we were talking about all terrain and then city buggies? So yeah. This would be both. So you can take your all terrain wheels off and you can small city buggy wheels on, and the whole frame actually compacts smaller as well. And like, could you change the wheels yourself quite easily? Mm. I know I've seen the last time with this. So they just the button there and they just pop out. The button just there. Just pop in, pop out. Oh my god, amazing. Can I pull this one down? Yeah. Probably has the brake on. And then it has these little lights. Oh, oh, what would that be for, like walking at night? Yeah. Timer. That's very cute. This one feels a little bit um, not as heavy as the peach. A little bit lighter frame. Is this a peach as well? That's a core. This is a core, that's, the, that's peach. the peach. I like this. I love black boogies. I don't know why. Yeah, I just yeah. love black boogies. I love the light. Yes. <laughs> Just a little fancy touch. And see like this, like for example, can you change these to have whatever you wanted? Or is this the one that it this comes with? This is the one that comes with. Okay, amazing. I do love this one. And then what, you just push this in to turn it off? Yep. Oh my God. So cute. And this is the seat then. So that's the seat, you know? Look at the inside of it. It's all like the lure. That's your um, foot muff. That's so soft. Oh my god. How cozy. I love that. And then your little backpack. Your little change of bag. Oh my god. That's very, awesome. Very, very cute. 
Like okay. again, when I had kids, like we didn't have changing bags like this. I just had a big ugly thing. Like they've come a long way, like even the changing bags and little stuff like that. Right, so this is definitely an option. I can DIY in that stuff now. Ooh. Oh, uh, okay, fab. Yeah, so is there anything you're kind of veering towards or? Well, so far, oh, is this? Where I can the place? <laughs> Um, so far I like the chameleon and the butterfly, Dova Boo. Okay. But I also like the, the, the Jules travel system and the Jules compact. Mm -hmm. And then I like the eye candy as well, but like I probably prefer these two first because I found that fr the eye candy frame just a little bit heavy, but I found the Jules and the Bugaboo chameleon a lot lighter, mm -hmm. the frame of it. But okay. We still haven't even got through them all, so. No, that's so many. Um, I do like this. I do like this one as a palace to the peach. I found this one. Over the peach. Yeah, okay. because I just found this one a little bit lighter. Okay. Is there I know. I know. It's just so many, isn't it? It's so hard. Yeah. Does everybody find it this hard, or do people come in and they just know what they some, want? Some. I think some people do their research before they even come in. And they kind of they know what they want, but then there's obviously people that come in that haven't a clue, that haven't even looked at anything. But like when you say people that do their research, how would they have like felt them and pushed them and felt the weight of them? And well, that's what they usually come into, so they probably research online and they'll see and they'll whittle down their few favorites. Yeah, okay. and then they come in and actually see what they like in person, and then probably make a decision. Is this the new one here? Yeah. So this is the peach, and this is the serum. So this is like a special edition. Fabrics, so that's different fabrics and stuff like that. Different handle. Oh my god, this handle feels incredible! So, this is the serum, I can be serum. So, remember, I was talking about the elevators. These are the elevators. So, see the way this is up higher than the cost of when you're away in that. Yeah, the baby close to you. Okay, I like this one now better than that peach. So, a lot of people go for the serum. Yeah, a lot of people. Okay, so now I have two in the eye candy that I like. Mm -hmm. I like the hoods on the eye candies. They look very structured, don't yeah. they? Yeah. Oh, and the little velour sides. So cute. Yeah, this will be really popular. But like I said, we'll go through okay, yeah. and then, we can, then you can go home and do your little bit of research and see. And then whittle it down to my mm -hmm. few favourites. Okay, and then, yeah. yeah, okay. We'll okay. come over to Cybex. Um, so we're actually getting new Cybex stand, so that's why it looks a little bit of a mess over there. We can create another stage and show you the whole Cybex range. Yeah. Well, I just put these out. So this is your Gazelle. So this is your double version. Mm -hmm. And then this is the Korean, which would be, again, you probably see on Instagram a lot as well. For the lovely rose gold frame. I'm going to take this one down. Yeah. Again, it's kind of... So this is Cybex. Cybex. Which has got huge. This like is that. very cute. Yeah. It's a good price point as well, isn't it? The push chair and seat pack. Yeah. A thousand. This is very easy to navigate and push around. Basically. I love the rose gold. I think the rose gold is either you love or I hate it. I love it. Not and then that would be your curry pot. So that would just be another colour that comes in. Instead of the black, you could get it in the grey. This is for this one? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. But this, so if you were to get this in black, you would just get this in black to match that. But it's a lovely big, like that's a big curry pot. Yeah. It's a big, comfy curry pot. But I am. Um, I love the premium. That's from the platinum range, so that would be your high, high island Cybex. And does that do any, does that have any cool like tricks or anything? Yeah. So, so it has a two wheel mode, which is for pulling. So you just press these a little. So you know if you're going up steps. Yeah. Or through the sand or anything that you could pull it. So it has the pull mode. Love that. Because I'm sure anybody has tried to um, pull a buggy up steps or go through the sand with yeah. a buggy, it's a nightmare. Yeah. So uh, that's a cool little feature on that. Okay. But yeah, no, I love this. I do love that as well, to be fair. It's a little bit fancy as well, isn't it? Does that one double up? The rose gold? No. Okay. It doesn't. They can get it with chrome, so rose gold isn't your colour. 
you can get it with chrome instead of the rose gold. Well, but chrome is silver, is it? Or? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Or actually you can get full black dough. Full okay. black frame, yeah, black okay. handle. Everything black and dough. I love black. They would be your colour options. So that's the single, that doesn't double up. The gazelle is what you'd go for if you were looking for a side X that doubles up. Mm. Yeah. I can totally see why people would want to get a double up buggy because, you know, especially people who are like planning on expanding the family yeah. extremely quickly. You don't want to have to pay again another child like the price of them. Yeah. Like, you don't want to be coming out and buying another child system. I just don't know if that's going to be in my immediate plan in the near future. Yeah. You know? So I think like probably And getting... if you're looking for a compact because you're saying you might go for a compact one, obviously the ones that double up they're gonna have a bigger chassis, the frame is gonna be bigger. Yeah, like I'm planning on like having the baby and being able to go on, on vacations and stuff. I'm not planning to like, you know, go straight Pop it into another baby one again. number two, you know. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. Uh, I know nobody knows what's around the corner, but yeah. I think people who get these, it's obviously in their plan yeah. to do so, yeah. right? They've so. obviously thought about and they've already known that they're going. Yeah. They don't plan to have one, they're going for number two straight away. Which is what I did in my second tour. So like that, I knew I was having three, I was just having three kids. And the first was not planned, so unexpected, I was very young. But then the second, we knew when we had the second, we were like, just, we knew we were having three, let's just go again. Yeah. Um, there's two years between them. I don't know what it was. When I think back now, I was like, what was that? Did you have a double buggy when you had yours? The double buggy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was, like it was a tandem, but it wasn't like leveled like this. It was literally lengthways like this. And when I used to try and get it up the step, because the weight on the front. I know the prams have come on leaps and bounds in the last few years. I can't even tell anything. you what make or anything. Like there wasn't, it wasn't fashionable mm. when I was having kids. Mm. Now it's almost, it's like an accessory, isn't it? Fashion mm. accessories. Yeah. Your pram, like. Yeah. But as well, I think loads of things come into play now, like especially boot space, because the price of cars is astronomical. So like, it's not a case if you can just change your car to exactly. get a bigger boot, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I think that's a huge thing is like, people are thinking what's actually going to fit in my car, fit in my house, because people are living in smaller spaces. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Exactly. So, um, so like that, yeah, you about, have to you know, reconsider your own lifestyle yeah. and how it's going to fit in. Um, so yeah, there's lots of this. Right? All right, so what else do we have then? Finici. I can't believe you've already covered four brands. Oh my what God. have we done? Cassato. Cassato, Bugaboo, Eye Candy, Cybex. Jewels. Jewels, that's five we've done. Yeah. Wow, okay. So there's still more to go through. There's still more. So we have Finici. I see these all over Instagram, the Finicis. They're very popular as well. Yeah, very popular. Um, I like that we're the only ones to stock them. So if you see one. Not from us. <laughs> really? In Ireland, yeah, so. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. but, um, Do you sell a lot of Vinici's though? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, we would. It will be one of our most popular. Again, great price point. Let's have a look then. So, this is the travel system. The whole travel system is 1079 Oh my god. Mm -hmm. So, it's really good. So, that's, that's the bag. The bass and then the sea. I'd have to double check that up, it actually seems really good. Shauna, um, the Venetian travel system. Oh, sorry, Ashley. A thousand seventy nine. Yeah. Is that the price for everything? For your three and one. Yeah. And the car seat as well. Oh my God. That's amazing. Because that's all was dearer than that. You don't need to buy your foot with them, you don't need to buy a change bag and all that. Oh my god. Oh, we oh were sorry. Just, we were in shock at the price of the Venici travel yeah. system. Oh, it's only a thousand seven grand. And you get everything you need in it. Oh my god, that's you have incredible. To add your for oh, the ice fix space. So that's yeah. the only thing that doesn't come with it. Yeah. That's right. Okay. I'm actually because I, in my head, I thought they were dearer, but. No, but it seems unbelievable. Like a last seat, a seat like and a car seat and a, a baby bag for a thousand euro at seventy nine. Yeah, okay. Sorry. The upline is a bit more. Maybe important. that's why I'm thinking. So okay, they have a new upline, Tinham upline now, which is a little bit more expensive. Still though, wow. But yeah, that's amazing. Which your car seat? So yeah, like how much your car seats be on their own if you were to buy a car seat on its own? Two thirty around, wouldn't it? Actually, two thirty and around that for a car seat. Maxi Cozy. Uh, 
That's very good value. Yeah. They look super And which lifestyle like, you get an eye candy, well. you'd have to get a separate car seat because they don't do car seats and stuff. So they look very posh, don't they? The Venetis. Yeah. They'd okay, be very like popular. Them. I like that they're really good kind of subtle colours, so I like that. Yeah, yeah. They're all neutral colours. I like the plain. Yeah. And the colour for girl or boy. Yeah, because because I know it's not on my immediate plan to have baby number two immediately, but like if I was to ever have baby number two, like I would like to keep the same pram. Okay. I wouldn't like to like just get rid of my pram. Do you yeah. know what I mean? I'd yeah. like to just reuse it. Reuse, which is why I did. Yeah. Cause so like, like I keep my stuff in immaculate condition. So yeah. like I'm planning on like, ha only having to do this one time, you know? Yeah. When I had baby number two and I knew I was going to have another one like that, I kept and I reused the whole trial system. Like I didn't need a double at the time. Like he was two, so he was walking, like we'd have a little stroller, but other than the big bus stroller that I had. But the actual initial like travel system. I One of my friends made a really good point as well, um, because she has two babies and they're both under two, right? And I, I asked her initially, did she get a buggy that doubles up? And she said that no, she didn't because she always wanted to have two prams in case one of the parents is going here with one child and the other parent is going here. Oh, or that's a very good or point. if the granny yeah. had one of the babies. Do you know what I mean? That's so, a very good point. If she had the newborn and the granny was mine was having Exactly. Yeah. So that's why I she Yeah. That. So she has the compact and she has a normal pram. And then obviously when the first baby was six months, she was in the compact one anyway. Okay. So yeah. So it doesn't necessarily that's actually a good yeah. point, is it? Yeah. And I was like, oh my god, what a good idea because, yeah, because yeah. if why would you need the two of them together all the time? Yeah, very good point. So that's something to consider. Yeah, so this is the new upline. So, yeah, this one's a little bit more expensive. This is so still, cool. it's not that much ex more expensive no. when you look at the price of maybe, and that's for the seat, candy. the bag, the, the car seat, everything. Yeah, that's your whole bundle here. Okay, I need to pull this down and have yeah. a little wheel of this one because I haven't wheeled a Venice yet. I think that really like you'll feel how light that is. I don't think the wheels are on swivel. Do I remember how to swivel? No. Oh. No. Should we have a lock at the back? At the back here, Ashley? Yeah. Ashley's the pro. She teaches me everything I need to know. Don't you, Ashley? Ah, so what's it, just a little clip under here? Why would you ah, want to turn okay. the swivel off? If you're going on a straight road, or if you're going on like bumpy paths, just keep it straight. Oh, if you're going bumpy, so you we don't want the wheels The going. wheels get stuck. This is very light. Okay. I like this frame as well, nice and slim. Yeah, sleek. Still lovely big. So this, you have to press the little buttons. This side. There we go. Oh. Really nice pattern. Take like that. Really nice pattern. That is very cute. And then this lovely ventilation so you can pull all this up. For summertime, if you need extra ventilation in on the baby. Love that. That also zips off. More ventilation. Love that. Oh, so much ventilation, yeah. Because I thought, I know the summer we had last summer, like it was quite warm. Oh, so we yeah. don't want the baby overheating either. That's one thing I'm grateful for because this is terrible because it's not a bad thing to be pregnant at any time of the year, but I'm just so glad I wasn't pregnant in that summer that we just had because my God. Yeah. I, I couldn't, I, I couldn't even. I know. remember my first, I was pregnant for the summer, so he was born in October. Like I couldn't wear one or my feet were so sore. Yeah, hell, I'd say. Like, it actually is. I'm delighted. Like, it's winter. Yeah. I'm delighted. But, um, so yeah. this is a really nice pram. Okay, I like the Venetis. I like really the compact ball as well. Nice point. So, mm -hmm. press them little buttons in like that. Mm -hmm. Pop off. So you just love the wheel, the real life compact system. Love that. So you can see why it is so popular. Yeah. Like the price point and then it's a lower price, but you're not lacking anything from the travel system. Yeah. It still does everything and more than other travel systems. Okay, I like the Venici. What else do we have to look at? So, oh, so Vista, we have a Vista, yeah. Happy baby. Mm. 
of the baby. You've probably seen that as well. Yes, I, I've, I, I just know the name of the baby. It's a yeah. very familiar name. So this would be the Vista. So that's it there in single, and that's it in double mode. So again, the double, double, that's why a lot of people get it. Mm -hmm. um, this is the double up here. Yeah. And then you can see, even when it's in single, it's still quite compact. You can yeah. easily just use it as a single, which a lot of people do. Such a big basket. Wow, I think that's huge. Okay, let me, let me push this one. It feels a lot bigger than the other ones I've been pushing. Taller, like? Yeah. Yeah, it's very, very easy to push them. Yeah. So then like that, this is what you'd have if you were having a baby material. It's light enough as a double. Obviously it's going to be that bit heavier with the seat units, but it's still quite light. Then they just look huge, the two, the double ones. Yeah. And they're like, they look huge. They're all not only ever look as compact as they can, but yeah. still two seat units in there, having seat units, so you kind of have to allow for that. But it's still lovely as a single. I seen online and um, there was a new for baby with like a like a, a beige kind of neutral um Oh you talk about this this colour here wait a minute. This colour. Oh that one. That's I love here, that it. one. It's how it live with so neutral. I love this colour. Yeah, it's one of my favourite colours as well. Is this the same buggy as that one I was just pushing? Yeah. Is it's it? A different color. Yeah. This one feels nicer to push for some reason. Is it lower? No, it's not so. I love this. And then that would be your uh, carry cut off it. It's a lovely color, isn't it? Like, really nice color. So is it quite easy to change these then, is it? Yeah. Definitely just pop pops. Just press them together. They're not my really ones. Okay. And then I thought that's your button for your carry cut, so that's... Is it just... Oh my god, how adorable. It's lovely, isn't that's it? That's such a cute colour. Here's me, I want black, and now I have this one, and I'm like, oh my god, this is so lovely. Yeah. Especially for a spring baby. Yeah. It's that little, like, it's bright, but it's not too bright, that. Because some people are afraid of getting it dirty, but it's not too bright. We have to do these to get that done. Yeah. Oh my god, the inside as well. It's all cream and lovely and soft. I love that. And again, that has a really easy fold as well. Okay. So many. I know. I don't know what to do. You'll figure it. You will. So I'm 18 weeks now, so I'd say I'd say in the next two weeks I'd like to have a decision. Yeah. You know, I think what I'll do is um I think what I'll do is I'll whittle down my choice, right? Okay. And then maybe I'll come back and just kind of go over like my whittled down Your top choice. Two or, yeah. yeah, or yeah, I might whittle it down to like, because there's definitely at least three or four that I re I'm really keen mm -hmm. on. So I might whittle it down to like four or five and then try to like have a decision made by week 20 then. Mm. If you can even, yeah, even get down to maybe three and then we can put them three side by side go through the differences of each right. tree okay. as well and then that will help you when you're comparing an actual pram to a different pram. Whereas right now we're looking at the whole range which is... I just don't know how people make this decision. Like I really don't. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like, I don't know. Just preference. What do you like the look of and then what's practical for you? Okay, amazing. Um, I like that weather. Whether you want a double or not is a huge thing. Yeah, I think I'm. I think I'll probably not go with the double because okay. I think I'd rather have a, a regular pram, a single pram, and then I'd like to get a compact because then okay. at least if I ever did have baby number two, you know, I'd have the compact for the other baby, the older yeah. baby, you know. Yeah. And then keep my same pram. Yeah. In mint condition. One. Yeah. You know. Um, so I think I think we, we can eliminate the double because like you know okay. the people who get the double they know in their mind I'm gonna have two babies within the space of X amount of time. And if you're not already thinking that's about that, not my it's not plan. gonna happen that soon. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. You don't actually need the two. Exactly. Yeah. 
Um, so I think well, that's that, huge. The fact that you've yeah, figured that out. I've definitely figured that out. So I think a single pram and a compact pram for six okay. months on, and for traveling and stuff. Because I'm already thinking like, you know, next year I'd love to bring the baby and the baby's older where they're Harry to like Disneyland or something. So I'm thinking of like I need a travel bookie. You know yeah. what I mean? So that's kind of what I'm thinking. Um. So yeah, I think a pram and a compact, and I think yeah. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. Well, that's a start. Yeah. Okay. It's definitely a starting point. Amazing. We just need to know. Watch out this one. Right. Okay. But yeah, um, you wind it down to two or three, and then we can compare the two of them together. And... I will. Okay, I'll do that. Sorry. Right. Thank you so much for all your help as always. You've been incredible, and um, you know I've really appreciated your help and. You know every problem inside out which is the kind of advice and help that i actually need you know yeah. instead of me just Absolutely. going online and looking at stuff you yeah know, i needed to actually come in and push them and fold them and do all this stuff you know yeah um brilliant so yeah i'd say once i whittle it down then we'll come back and kind of just go go, go into detail yeah. we'll kind yeah. of compare yeah. your top two or your top three and then i'll make my choice for week 20 which is really exciting okay amazing thank you so much give me a hug oh you're so helpful I love okay. it. no you. problem Okay, thanks. Okay, so I just went through all the top prams and travel systems with Angelina and I think I've made, a, I mean, I've definitely whittled it down, I think. Um, I'm still not exactly sure which brand I want to go with, but I've definitely seen some prams that I really, really like. Um, so I'm going to go home and, you know, try and make a decision on which are my top three and then come back and hopefully have a boogie ordered by week 20, please.